Hey there guys, DMO73 here. I'm back with another product review. My friends over at Ultra Pro sent me another goodie box full of stuff. And so we're gonna go ahead and dig right in. So this time around, there's only a little bit of Force of Will stuff. Uh, it's other kind of uh, gaming supplies and stuff like that, but there's still some pretty cool stuff in here and I definitely think you should check it out. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off as we always do with the play mats. We've got three play mats here. We've got an anime style play mat, a video game play mat, and a Force of Will play mat. Ultra Pro is really well known for getting lots of cool contracts with lots of different companies and uh, intellectual properties to be able to do playmats like these. So we're going to start from the left and work our way towards the Force of Will playmat. So, first off, if any of you are a fan of the show, is it wrong to pick up girls in dungeons? You will like this playmat. So I'm going to unroll it. So there we go. This is their Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in Dungeons playmat. Uh, really, really crisp colors, really, really nice quality. The printing is nice, it's nice and thick. It's got the cool logo up here in the corner, the Ultra Pro down in the left. It's your main two characters. It's a little too fan servicey for me. Um, but then again, the show is kind of fan servicey, so. But all in all, I mean, it's a really nice play mat. It's got that classic Ultra Pro kind of really smooth playing surface, which is really nice uh, and is pretty easy to roll up, so. Really, really good. Uh, awesome that they got you know a contract like this for a kind of a bigger name kind of show or a more popular show. Uh, so that's always awesome to see. And, uh, and yeah, there's, there's really not much more to say about that. It's an awesome play mat. It's definitely some cool artwork. It is cool to see them kind of pick up some of these uh, sillier kind of uh, shows. So move that up to the top. Next up we have this bad boy, so a very different kind of tube. This is their Legend of Zelda um, Height Majora's Mask playmat. So this comes in a very different tube. It's got this kind of rubber clasp, which is kind of hard to get off, but you just know that's gonna be really good to keep all your stuff really nice and safe. Slides out nice and easy, no resistance at all. And then out comes this bad boy looking sweet so it's the same kind of really crisp color it's the same really smooth play surface uh you've got skull kid uh you've got the moon you've got all the different forms of link and the masks the logo in the upper left corner there the ultra pro and everything else in the other corners every little thing is here even this little guy over here it's just really nice subtle details and really crisp colors on a really high quality play mat that just shows that Ultra Pro, when it comes to playmats, they produce some really, really awesome stuff. So definitely recommend checking this one out. And then lastly, this was a special playmat uh, that Force of Will made for the Summer Solstice. Really awesome to get kind of one of these kind of uh, event exclusive playmats. They do a lot of these throughout the year. Uh, this is the, I'll flip it around, Summer Solstice Leviathan playmat for Force of Will. This is gorgeous this playmat is beautiful i absolutely love it um the 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 artwork is super crisp all the little details of the little veins and the sh armor uh the scales the flames the focus it it's kind of interesting maybe you can't quite tell it's kind of a little blurry on the outside and then as it gets closer to the middle and the focus on leviathan it's really really crisp so it really draws your eye to leviathan really fast Absolutely a huge fan of that. This card art is fantastic. I really wish that this card had seen more competitive play. Um, but all in all, really cool card. Uh, really cool play mat, definitely enjoying that. So we're actually gonna stay on this mat until the end of the video. So right now we're gonna go into the other gaming supplies that we have. We're gonna start with some cool dice because everybody needs dice. So first up, I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. First up we have gravity dice. Now these are very, very kind of high-end dice. They are made out of aircraft-grade aluminum. Uh, they are perfectly balanced and they don't have divots in them. They don't have pips. They just have markings on the metal. Comes in either a set of two or a set of five. Um, you can buy them in all different kinds of colors, but they all come in this sort of nice glass box. Um, this is really nice and hefty, these boxes, and they are magnetically enclosed. They have that nice little Ultra Pro engraving there. Kind of hard to see because of the gold and then just pop it open and inside are your dice. So really, really nice magnetic latch, seals right on there. And it does take a little bit of effort to kind of pop off so you, your dice aren't gonna go anywhere. And then these bad boys, I'll get one up close. So as you can see, it's got these nice crisp rounded or kind of like cut off edges. Um, there's no di there's no pips, there's no divots on them, but they're perfectly balanced. 
really, really nice metallic, and they roll really nicely. So I'll let this kind of focus back in down here. And you can kind of take them in your hand. They got some good weight to them, and they roll really, really well. Huge fan of these dice. Uh, really was happy to get my hands on some of these. If you're interested, you know, if you're a guy who really likes having really, really nice D6s, I definitely recommend checking picking some of these up. <laughs> because they are a awesome, awesome set uh, and that are really, really, they look nice, they feel nice, they're nice to roll. Uh, they've got a lot of love and care put into the design of this product. So huge fan of those. And then they also have these, which are kind of the same thing. They are uh, a heavy metal set from um, Ultra Pro and they make all kinds of different sets here. These are the Chrome Finish uh, D20s. So I'm gonna open these up. Ah. So these are much heavier, but these are really nice. They're randomized to order, just like normal. They're not spin downs or anything. They've got some really heavy heft to them. And then you roll them, and they roll really, really well. Very, very easy to read. Um, really like these a lot. These are really, these, like, if you need to, I guess you can defend yourself with these uh, really, really securely, because these have some definite heft. So again, if you're looking for dice that kind of make you stand out and have some real kind of nice quality finish to them definitely recommend checking these out moving into thinking of dice force uh they also make dice bags a lot which is pretty cool uh and they make a couple that they sent me so this if for any of you bravest warriors fans out there this is cat bug um i'm a huge fan of bravest warriors so seeing this was pretty awesome it, it doesn't really hold a ton it's got a little tray a little dice thing here in the back uh, and it's got a little carabiner to clip onto your stuff but it can hold a couple of d20s so you just kind of throw them in there inside and then zip it closed and then you've got a nice set of dice there kind of hidden underneath catbug's wings you can get at them whenever you want so in terms of having a lot of access to stuff this isn't really the greatest i will admit but it is adorable if you're a fan of bravest warriors it's definitely cool to show off your love like that and uh if you just have a couple of dice or like you know four or five dice that you need to bring along with you definitely think that this is something that's well worth your time. And then for the more kind of experienced gamer who needs a lot more space, they have the Mimic. Uh, this guy has a much wider pouch. He's got a little cool clasp here in the front that kind of helps keep him shut when you're not walking around with him. So you just kind of hook it around there. So just a D&D &D Mimic, uh, and then it opens up. And there's a zipper pouch on the inside, complete with a tongue that kind of comes out, makes it look all intimidating. And this guy can hold uh, a ton of dice. I previously put like, I don't know, uh, probably like 15 to 20 dice plus all my energized counters in here and it fit really nicely and it looks really, really cool. And it can be your kind of mimic sitting on the sideboard cheering you on or threatening to eat your opponent. So this little tongue. So definitely recommend, again, if you're looking for a cool, unique kind of way to kind of trick out your gaming gear, this is definitely sweet. Moving on to some deck boxes, I wanted to show you guys a couple. So uh, they do these nice Ultra Pro satin finish. These are uh, towers that are really, really cool. They come in this nice shrink wrap, so pretty solid packaging. But if you open it up, I will see that. It is, I don't know if this camera does it justice, but it is beautiful looking. It is nice and crisp uh, and very, very shimmery and sh got full sheen. And then on the bottom, you set it down and it comes off into a dice tray. So that's really nice. That pops off really easily, but at the same time, or you know, with a little bit of effort, it pops off, but it's not gonna go anywhere, just shaking it. And then inside, it slides off, and you got space in there for your cards too. It's got, you know, kind of a matte finish inside, but again, just snaps right on there. And that's not going anywhere. It comes in a bunch of different colors. They wanted me to show you this red one and this kind of green one, so Christmas colors. Um, these look really, really nice. Uh, definitely recommend checking some of these out too if you're looking for a deck box plus a dice tray. Uh, it's excellent, I think, uh, having a lot more space for your dice in the bottom as opposed to like a flipping tray that doesn't always give you a ton of space for just one deck is definitely something I like. And then Ultra, uh, Ultra Pro also makes kind of all kinds of other deck boxes too, like these little flip, uh, flip top magic ones. Um, you know, you've seen them for all kinds of stuff. They do them for anime, they do them for Force of Will. They're just kind of uh, entry level deck boxes that are characters based on different things. Open them up, they have a little divider inside, so pretty nice. I don't really know Magic well, so 
This character is not one that I really know, but I mean, it's cool for people who like them and they have them in like pretty much everything. I know they do these for all the different Force of Will rulers that like just recently came out. So like Zero, Sun Wukong, stuff like that. Really, really nice. I'm moving on to some sleeves. Um, we've talked about Ultra Pro sleeve quality before, uh, so I'm not going to go over that again, um, but I do want to show you these. So first up in the anime department, we have Akame Ga Kill. Uh, really, really nice looking sleeves. So there's Akame right there on the front, looking intimidating as heck, ready to kick some butt. And then for Pokemon sleeves, we've got these adorable Pikachu ones. Um, and it's got little like Pokeballs, energy symbols, and Pikachu silhouettes in the background. That's really nice. And these are sized for Pokemon. And then also these ones I think are my personal favorite for the Pokemon. These are Evolution sleeves. So they have all the different Evolutions in the background, uh, plus Eevee right there in the front. So nice and adorable. And then the last thing I have to show you guys today is actually a binder. So we're going to zoom back out. So just like... There is the Evolution sleeves. Ultra Pro also makes a matching Evolution binder, which is really, really nice. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna open this real quick. I just recently decided to get back into Pokemon. Uh, not the card game, but with Summon Moon coming out, I couldn't help it. So it's kind of cool to get one of these binders. It's nice, uh, it's a smooth um, plastic kind of cover and it's got on the side there, it's got all the different uh, numbers, silhouettes, and types for names for all the evolutions. And on the back, there's a bunch of them right there. And then it's just standard your standard uh, page uh, binder. And the other thing that I really like about it is it is side-loading. So this is a binder that is really nice. I love side-loading binders. I think they're the proper way to store cards. Um, and so the fact that this binder comes like that, it's really, really nice and holds lots of different cards in it. So. Really, really cool. If you're looking for a kind of a fashionable binder for like your trade binder and stuff like that, definitely recommend checking out something like this because it is a, you know, pretty cool little accessory. So that's it for today. Uh, we'll go ahead and kick back to me in front of the map and he, I will have more information for you guys about how maybe you can get some of this stuff. So that's it for my review, guys. Let me know what you guys think of these products or what other kinds of stuff you would want to see me review from Ultra Pro in the future. I'm giving away two prize packs with this review. There is the Pokemon prize pack and the anime prize pack. Uh, the Pokemon prize pack is going to be um, the Eevee binder, the Eevee sleeves, the Pikachu sleeves, uh, and a deck box. And the anime pack is going to be the Akamega Kill sleeves, a deck box, and the... Uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in dungeons playmat? So go ahead and enter down below in the comment section by just leaving a comment and uh, I will draw the winners for each of those uh, probably in about a week or so. So be on the lookout for that announcement video when it comes out. Again, a huge thanks to Ultra Pro for hooking me up with all this stuff to check out and give away to you guys. Looking forward to doing more of it in the future and show them some love guys. Check them out in the website link down below. And until next time, this is DMO73 signing off.